Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome to Bollionaire, the most trippy introduction screen I think I've ever seen. This is an upcoming sort of recruiter, uh, a pachinko roguelike, not, but not that much like Peglin if you've played Peglin. I mean, it definitely has some luck be a landlord vibes here and how it's set up, but let's get it started in here, huh? Thought to look too hard at the starter because it's not really going to explain itself very well. Who started the whole... Was it actually a luck be a landlord that started the whole earn a certain amount of money to keep the stay alive thing? I actually have no idea, honestly. I don't know. I don't know where it started. Maybe it was luck be a landlord. Maybe it was someone else. Maybe someone even smaller managed to come with that. All right. So we have to earn $500 and you have five drops to do so. That's pretty much it. The goal is to pray that you hit the things that are on the board here. No, you cannot influence the ball whatsoever. It just falls and it's totally random. So the only thing we have agency over is placing new uh obstacles i guess in the way yeah obstacles i think they might call them something else though so here so pinball bumper for instance when it gets bumped or bonked earn 200 dollars and bounces the ball away uh jump rope uh earns 200 dollars and bounces it upward slightly bonked from below earns 200 dollars oh wait what'd that say come back plus 20 dollars extra per age so it says age or each drop increase age by one. So it earns more money the longer you have it out there. Teleport once per drop. Teleport to a random teleporter above this one. Cooldown is 30 seconds though. 30 seconds is a kind of a long time. Let's drop the ball, baby. Let's see what we got. There we go. Okay, good start here. Oh, okay, we already hit the goal. <laughs> we did get a little bit lucky there, truth be told though, because uh, we managed to hit the jump rope a few times. And it uh, actually triggered... Uh, it triggered the tree a bunch of times too. It very easily could have just gone to the right or something like that. So here's the recruitment and we get to place a new object. So when it gets bonked, the brick that is, earn $200. If it's bonked from below, it spawns a coin ball, which is just an extra ball, I guess. Five second cooldown. Anchor earns $500, but has to be on the bottom row. Another pinball bumper. Let's go brick. Um, I guess we'd want it wants to get bonked from below so I guess we'll put it next to the jump rope that we have here in, in case one goes left I guess is my thought what do you think I mean it kind of doesn't matter what happens now because we've already hit the goal as far as I can understand it hey another jump rope is nice clover when it gets placed if this forms a cluster of four plus clovers turn them all into lucky clovers four plus clovers Turn it into lucky clovers. Yeah, don't don't know all that. Don't know all those terms yet. Bomb goblin bonks. Damage the bomb goblin. On defeat, detonate and spawn a random mix of four fireballs and rock balls in all directions. Fi 15 health. Cooldown is 30 seconds. Oh, it takes forever to hit. If you, you can only hit it once every 30 seconds, which is probably only once per round right now. Just give me another jump rope. Oh, you can only put it in so many places, huh? Hmm... In case it goes right, maybe we'll send it up to try to keep it, make it go left instead. And hopefully use that brick more often is sort of my thought. Okay, there goes the coin ball. We got like an extra coin ball though. I'm trying to figure out what the hell just happened there. Ooh, more teleport I kind of like. Minecart. Ride the minecart when this ball causes a holder deposit. Cause an extra deposit. I see. When place gain three charges, each drop use one charge to spawn a fireball. No charges turn into smoke. Hmm. It's gonna be more teleporters, I'm thinking. A lot of the time it's gonna wind up over here, I'm assuming. Now with this jump rope over here. So hopefully oh, it managed to jump over though. <laughs> uh let's see. Bonked by fireball, light the candle. Bonked, earn $200 and carry the tomato. Cooldown, 10 seconds. During drop, gain $100 every one second. Bonked, earn the accumulated money. Does not gain while on cooldown, though. Hmm, I see. So you do actually have to hit it at some point. We do have some re-rolls here. I'm kind of curious what else we can get here. Bonked, earn $200. Double this for each other cave consecutively bonked before this one. Could that be interesting right here? Maybe. Bonked. Consume the ball. If not bonked during the drop, earn $400. So wait, so if I bonk this a bunch of times in a row, but then you also have to hit the jump rope to kind of keep hitting it. Oh, oh, it's kind of working though. 
Holy crap, we've earned like 10k when the goal was only $500, huh? Okay, that sounds pretty good. Bonked. Ride the broom. This ball earns two times. Fly towards the furthest edge of the screen. Cool down two seconds. Hmm. Destroy the caterpillar. Turns into a butterfly if it can reach age five without being bonked. Okay, so we don't know what that's going to do. Place to gain three charges. Use one charge and spawn a water ball. No charges means you destroy it. So you could just throw this out there. Right? We could just roll it also. Hmm. Earn $200 and carry the bread when you bonk it. Hold the ball. Carry the wallet. The first time you ever bonk a mover while carrying the wallet, spawn a coin ball. A mover, I think, counts as the jump rope. But I'm also not 100% on that. Oh, right. Since we passed the first tier and paid more money, we get to take a bigger upgrade. When a trigger is placed with no adjacent triggers, double its base earning. Immediately gain five removal. If a ball riding a vehicle hits the edge of the screen, dismount the vehicle and mount the ball away from the edge. I guess I'll grab that. I don't know. Oh, man, you dodged like everything there. How the hell did you do that? Bonked from below for another tree. It is quite early, so I, I'm not against this idea. Parachute. You carry the parachute while carrying a parachute. If ball nears the bottom of the board, deploy the parachute which reverses gravity for that ball. This ball abandons any vehicle it's riding. So, but we also have... So it is a vehicle. I see. But we also have the stop sign thing. Hide. Hits the edge of the screen. Dismount the vehicle. Okay, so this sounds good. Do I want to put it here? Or do I want to put it here? I don't know what's more likely. If a coin ball, so this might more likely hit a coin ball, but that's kind of okay, is the way I'm looking at it. So there's a parachute. We hit a teleporter to send us back up. And now, oh, another teleporter. Very nice. All right, we've already hit our goal by a lot. And then there's a the parachute. We triggered some coin, and then the parachute deploys because of the stop sign. All right. <laughs> Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> uh, okay. So, more bricks could be interesting. Hmm. We're kind of crowded up here. Do you want a brick instead of the cave? You could remove the cave. To get more coin balls, but I don't know. We need more things to actually hit. Can I put the brick here? That might actually work. Or there. Okay. You can skip grabbing a trigger. Don't think you want to at all, though. Go, my coin ball. We don't have a lot on the board right now. Okay, parachute got triggered. And then it gets untriggered. And then there's the wallet. Alright, good enough for me. Another jump rope. Bonked by a coin ball, hold it. Passive. Earn $800 for each coin held. Ooh. Oh, it even lists synergies down here. Ooh, 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 ooh. The coin balls seem to want to go over here very often. But that's kind of anti-synergy with this thing. Hmm. I wonder what the best likelihood of where to put this is. Here or here, maybe? I'm going to put it there. Maybe we'll find more piggy banks or something like that. Hit the teleporter? Yes, okay, okay. But then it just... So it spawned two coin balls because of the wallet? Huh. Bonked by coin ball deposit. Adjacent triggers earn point one more for each coin ball held. I see. Same thing over here, I suppose. Or maybe even in case it falls down here somehow. That seems rather unlikely if it's a coin ball, right? You could go over here. Don't know what the likelihood of that is again. This is definitely not great. Why don't we go do this? Hmm. So we want more coin ball stuff. I guess that's what we're... That's the current goal here. Come on, go left or something. Come on, get me some coin balls. No dice. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, we earned plenty of money at least. No cave. We do have five rolls. So I'm looking for 
coin balls or something that synergizes with them. We got a second parachute. Um, which could be interesting, but I don't know if it's that good. Coin ball, please. Oh, another brick. Okay. So, it needs to be bonked from below. So, why don't we remove... I'm going to get rid of the cave. I know, that feels bad. All spawners invert the gravity of the balls they spawn. Oh, that would be bad for us. So that means that the coin balls would all go up. Immediately gain five rerolls. The first time you earn in excess the current tribute, gain rerolls equal to the number of drops remaining. I think we'll be okay there, right? I think so. Uh, I wanted to quickly... The sound effects are a bit on the loud end. Let's calm it down, huh? Hey, we got a coin or two or seven. Yeah, baby. I kind of wanted to read that again. Give me more coins. Do I want to get rid of the tree for more bricks here? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Seven rerolls still, but we already earned enough and got a bunch of rerolls out of the last round here. Okay. Armored car. Ride the armored car when this ball bonks a mover. Spawn a coin ball. Cooldown is 30 seconds. Bonks a mover. Spawn a coin ball. I mean, I definitely want it. I guess we'll just throw it. Do I want to remove anything? Hmm. So, like, this is a mover. This is a mover. That's technically a mover. Boy, oh boy. Um. I guess we're just going to throw it there. I wonder if, like... Uh, no! Oh, wait, what? Can't even tell what's going on anymore. Look at the coins! Come on, baby! Parachute triggered. It's back. They're getting super stuck. Go into the piggy bank, or that, at least. Okay. Ooh. It's getting crazy out here. Earn $1,600 for each food carried by the ball, then consume the food. You seem like a big no. A sword. Ooh, another teleport. Sounds nice to catch some falling crap. Just line the whole bottom with teleports, sure. Definitely don't want to remove anything, I think. There's one coin. It actually took the parachute, but that's kind of fine. Okay. We're getting some deposits out here. I kind of want to look at some of this stuff to remind me what we're earning from that. Ride the broom. Synergizes with the stop sign. Let me see. Earn $800 for each coin held, and it has six. And this increases the output of all this stuff. Okay. I don't think I care that much about the broom. Let's roll it. Let's see. Don't love the sound of any of those. Another jump rope is fine by me, I think. In case we miss. Do I want to put it here? Hmm. Maybe jump rope isn't that good. Maybe it's okay, though. Something to kind of stop it from going all the way crazy that way. Which happens very often. Like, the coins go crazy, right? There we go. That kind of caught it. Uh, didn't really work out like I'd hope. Come on, hit some stuff, baby. Yeah, I want to get more deposits in here. There we go. Ooh, more brick? More brick. So where are we most likely to bonk now from below? Probably over here? In case it hits that bumper? I'm gonna say so. We got one coin. I hit the armored car. Oh my god. Oh my god. Keep them coming, baby. Come on, hit the piggy bank. No dice, huh? Still here. Still here. Still going. <laughs> Okay, that's got to be the end of it, right? Okay. All right, we have made it. No effect yet. We have to earn 10k. That should be easy. Another investment bonk. So, you could put it here, but it's not really upping that much 
honestly. So maybe we put it here. Um, I guess it increases the earnings of other things. Hmm. I almost wonder if it's better off replacing the tree. No, no, you really want the piggy bank to get increased, if anything. This is probably not that useful, truth be told, huh? This would probably catch more coin balls, but it just isn't that important, is my thought. Once per drop, if a ball would exit the screen while carrying a carry ball, teleport it back to its spawn point. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. We take those. We take those. Oh, take it easy there, coin ball. That's for every ball? That's crazy. Is it for every ball? What? Oh, what? Stop sign went. I feel like I gotta read that again. Oh my god, more. Come on, land in the stuff. No, they're not hitting the things at all. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, well, we got plenty of rerolls out of that. Minecart. Ride the minecart when this ball causes a holder deposit, cause an extra deposit. Cooldown is 30 seconds. Um, Let's see here. Here. We definitely take it. You could get rid of the tree just to try to make sure that... Because the tree just doesn't really fit anymore, is my thought. I know it's actually pretty good, plus we've had it forever. But I think this is just going to be worth so much more at this point, right? Come on, ride it. Ride it, baby. Okay, you got the minecart on the gold coin. Oh, actually, we want it on the gold coin in particular. What the hell? Okay. Come on, deposit! Deposit! I wonder if this... Okay, there you go, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, close enough, I guess. <laughs> Tomato seems like a no. Bonked by a fireball. No, we don't do that. We got another jump rope. But I don't know if I'm that excited about it. Stone coffer. And maybe it'll catch some stuff over here. Or even, like, right here. To try to get them up there. I don't know. Is that weird? It's not great. We could probably roll some more to try to find something better. Oh, the eyeball's already long gone. Oh, come on. That hit that brick. You're kidding me, right? You got the parachute now, too. So, can it not spawn itself? Like, what's going on there? Another investment bonk. I guess I'm going to do this. It's not great. It's all about hitting the piggy bonk. I'm worried that this thing's going to steal so many of the coin balls now. We need more piggy bonks, for sure. Is that what they call them, even? Okay, now you got the mine cart. That hit the investment. Nice. So you ditch the mine cart. Hit a teleport. Give me some more coins, baby. I don't know why I'm so excited to get the coins here. Eight rerolls still. Another brick. A teleporter is still quite nice. Might just want more bricks, though. Here? Hmm. Hard to say. I think I like the teleporter more. I wonder where the best placement is here. I wish I could see, like, a pattern of where these things are dropping. Yeah, more in the piggy. Let's go, baby. Okay. So that minecart's not going to do anything since the eyeball hit it. Wee, wee. Since that can't get deposited, it'd have to be a coin ball. Hmm, where's the parachute? It's a little less meaningful now. Hmm, that's not going to go anywhere. Oh, or is it? Or is it? It's probably going to land in there, right? Ooh, ho, ho. Okay, hold on. Good enough for me. Okay. We actually had earned 151000 We need 25000 for the next. Earn $0 when a treasure trigger is removed from the board. Increase earnings by $1,000. What? Damn, bonked by a water ball. We don't do water balls. Let's roll it. Trash can, earn $800. Whenever a trigger is destroyed, increase earnings by 10%. Oh, I understand. That seems like a no. Mine cart would be good, like, under a brick or something like that, probably. Uh, 
Maybe... Oh god, where do you put it? Maybe... Over here. I'm seeing a lot of them go that way. When a trigger is placed with no adjacent trigger, double its base earnings. Immediately gain 5 rerolls. Whenever a ball is spawned during the drop, earning $800. I guess we'll take that. But it doesn't actually sound that amazing. Oh my god, you already fell? Okay, there we go. We got one little deposit. Stay alive, baby. More bricks, please. God, I, you know what? We should probably try to get a brick right there, huh? <laughs> At this rate. But yeah, it's piggy bonks that we really need. Because that minecart, I mean, it. we want them, but I don't think I want it right there anymore. There we go. Keep them going, baby. All right, finally over. All right, we did it on, like, the first round. No more jump ropes. We have 12 rolls, so that's plenty. Another brick? Okay, why don't we do what I just said? I know this has a cooldown, but still. Oh my god. Whenever this brick is triggered, it feels, like, mostly useless. Honestly. Because the coin balls just get destroyed. That's what I'm talking about out here. My ball's still in it. Still mixing it up. Ah, uh, imagine. Imagine. Let's see. If not bonked during the drop, grant an extra choice in the standard trigger draft. It's not bad, but I'm not super captivated by it. Pass on that. No brooms. No bread. Another investment? I don't think so. But I'll take another teleport. Cover the bottom and teleports, baby. Waste no coin balls. Okay, well, those ones get wasted, but... Yes! Come on! You're at 2.8 right there. Minecart on you, don't get wasted. No! Good enough. Okay. You're at 300,000. Ride the minecart when this ball causes a holder deposit, cause an extra deposit. Okay, so we can put that... How do you put it anywhere? You can put it here... Could put it down here. A lot of coins wind up this way. Let's put it here? I'm gonna say. See? So this brick is not great just because the coins that do spawn out of it, oh come on, tend to just wind up somewhere else, right? Okay, no, come back! Bastard. Hmm. Let's roll that. Another wallet. First time you bonk a mover while carrying the wallet, spawn a coin ball. We do like the wallet. So maybe... Okay, so here's what we do. We're going to get rid of that brick. Because this spawns a coin ball too, anyway. Oh, come on. They just get chucked. Can they bonk each other, I wonder, kind of? More. More. Stay alive, baby. Oh my god, the deposits. Oh my god, you're still somehow alive. The wallet was a wise choice. We had two wallets there. 647,000. We're a little ahead. <laughs> We're a little ahead. Stormy weather. Spawn water balls from the top of the screen, then turn into clear weather. At age 5, turn into stormy weather. Or clear weather. No? Do we want more bumpers now? Maybe. Hmm. The first time you bonk a mover while carrying the wallet. Then a five second cooldown or something? I'm gonna say no. It wasn't a bad idea. On two arrow balls. No. Another brick? Bricks are a lot less good nowadays, huh? What else you got? Room? No. Windmill, earn $200 per second. Increase this earning rate by $200 per second. Oh, when he gets bonked. I see. Okay. I don't think I want to put it there. I'm not planning on it to do a ton. Rerolls and removals can be used interchangeably. Whenever you reroll, all ager triggers gain age one. No. Whenever water balls spawn, spawn an extra. Oh. You can skip, but you can't reroll these. I guess I'll take the Swiss Army Knife, even though I'm not positive it's going to do a whole lot for us, honestly. 2,500 that earned? That's crazy. 
I wonder how much this pig is earning us now exactly with everything. I'll have to watch the number here. Okay, wallet's still in hand. There we go. That coin gained a wallet as well. Very good. We're about to hit it on the first shot here. There goes the parachute. So you can't ride the minecart at the same time. Oh, oh, beep, okay. I think it earned us like 200k. <laughs> on its own. Earn $800. Nice plant. Does it just sit there? Cool down two seconds. What else you got? Map. Jungle hat. No, no. Hmm. Where, where the jungle hat when this ball would be destroyed by a trigger instead earn $800? No? We want them to get destroyed, kinda. Damn, this is bonked by a water ball. Each drop. Spawn two water balls for each water ball held. No. Hmm. Jump rope, trash can, no. Candle, torch, armored car. When this ball boxy mover spawn a coin ball, 30 seconds. Oh, so that's way better than the wallet. Oh, oh, I see. The first time you bonk a mover carrying the wallet. Oh. So this should be crazy on the top then. I wish I had considered it a little bit better. This should be, that should be insane, really. All right. Good enough for me. I still feel like a lot of things wind up over here. Like all the way at the corner. Come on, hit some more movers, honey. Ooh, okay, why do you like go flying all of a sudden? What happened to us? Hmm, another minecart. Uh, so can you only have one thing at a time, I wonder? This is definitely not great. Get some more movers, baby. Yes. Oh ho, piggy bank. Nice. Whoa, 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 no, come back. Yes, more piggy bank. Yes, come back. Spawn some more stuff for me. Yes. Windmill's not exactly doing a ton. More. Okay, well, I mean, that was pretty good. We're in the millions already. A wallet. You probably accept it, right? We do need some movers here. Wallet would be decent next to the jump rope, I assume. Carryable. A ball may carry an unlimited number of things. I'm kind of curious. A ball may only ride one vehicle at a time, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, we broke it. What happened? Oh my god. We need more piggy banks and investment things now. I don't know what I did. It must be the armored car going crazy there. Does that include hitting that teleporter there, I wonder? We hit two million. Parachute, windmill. Windmill's kind of weak. Don't care about the, the parachute, really. In fact, the parachute might be bad because it's a vehicle, right? And it's taking up the vehicle slot. Keep rolling. Another armored car. Yes. Gold mine. Earn $400. Double this and spawn one coin ball for each identical chain consecutively bonked before this. I think they, they must mean like gold mine. Like another gold mine. So you need a bunch of them. Okay, so oh, more armored car. Sounds good. Do we remove the parachute? Because it's kind of it's kind of bad now, it seems. Okay. All spawners invert gravity on the balls they spawn. When you remove a trigger, gain a draft of a different trigger with a matching trait or rarity. Eaters age twice as fast. Well, I really don't want invert. I don't think that's going to do anything either. Okay, goodbye, eyeball. Oh, you got the armored car back. Let's go, baby. Stay in there, honey. No, stay in there. What did I just say? Okay. Still crazy amounts. Okay, yep, we earned insane amounts of money there. 
If not bonk during the drop, grant an extra choice. No. So this could hit the piggy bank still to help increase. I don't know if it's going to get much. Like, this one's only gotten, like, four drops anyway. So investment bonk seems kind of not that great here. Hmm, that is the majority of our money, though. That's the only other way to hit the piggy bank unless we want to... We could remove this jump rope. But how many balls are going to hit land there, too, if they're not even hitting there? Hmm. Seems like a roll to me. I thought about the pinball. Wear the top hat. When this ball causes a coin ball to spawn, spawn another. A ball may only wear one hat at a time. Okay. Do we want to keep all these bricks? Hmm. I think I'm willing to get rid of this one in order to put the coin hat there. Grab from return package. I mean, sure, I'll put it somewhere. For now. So, the idea is the eyeball will get the armored car, grab the top hat as well, and it'll go crazy with the coin balls. That's the premise here. Oh my god. Oh, 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 goodbye. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, come back. Alright, oh, wait, still alive. Still in it, baby. Gotta pass those 30 seconds there. Woo! Okay. Cave, gold mine. No, 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 we have eight rolls. Another mine cart? Less interesting. I think I'm gonna pass on it. No. Egg carton, huh? No. Running out of rolls now. No. Hmm. It might be time to grab something else here. Maybe try to catch some stuff and uh, will it really go up there. Hmm. Maybe try to stop stuff from going off the edge there on that side, if possible. Top hat, armored car is in. Okay. There we go. There we go. Coin balls. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's earning like 10k a piece right there. Hey, that got one finally. The eyeball's still alive, baby. Yeah, we might just need more bumpers at this point, huh? It could be I don't have enough, and the bricks are less good now. But I think they only let you have so many bumpers on the board. Like, it kind of stops you. You can have as many wallets as you want. So we can put that somewhere. It's probably better than a brick. Is it? Actually, I'm not so sure about that. Might be better than a brick. Could go over here, though. Yeah, sure. Just throw it over there. Top hat is in. Oh, 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 God. Uh, I can't even tell what's going on over there. The numbers are too big. We got 16k for hitting this one jump rope. It's insane. It's insane, I tell you. Map. No. Roll it. <gasps> Finally, another piggy bonk. Okay. So, we might want to get rid of something here. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We'll remove the brick. Because we want another piggy bank to get affected by this double thing here. We got, another tom we got a tomato, so sure, I'll just throw that somewhere. Because we destroyed something. Come on. Yeah, I guess we just want more. Look at it go. Holy shit, it's going crazy. 15 million. Well done, Initiate. You earned 15 million. Please get 100. No, no, no. Please get 300,000. You know what? I'm on it, baby. Chop this ball in half. Halves may not be chopped again. Cooldown is 10 seconds. Doesn't sound that actually that amazing for us. It's not bad. Cash register. Spawn one coin ball for each distinct carryable this ball is carrying. Cooldown is 10 seconds. Get rid of the windmill. Get rid of the brick. Hmm... Hmm. 
Let's get rid of the windmill. We'll go cash register, I think. We can spawn, we can put down a house plant, because, sure. Okay, what do we got? Whenever you reroll all limited triggers, gain one charge. Not good. When you skip any trigger draft holder, triggers gain one deposit. <gasps> That's insane. When a ball bonks a trigger in the top row, if both survives, repeat the bonk one time. It wouldn't matter for armored car. So we can just start skipping if we don't get anything very good here probably now, huh? Because these all gain one trigger from skipping. Stay alive, baby. More coins. Stay in there, yes. All right, good enough. We got it on the first try. Give this ball a rainbow trail. This ball earns two times. So that's like a carryable thing, but it's hard to put this anywhere. Skip. I wonder if you could just like kind of ignore the mechanics now at this point, right? Oh God, oh God. Stay in there. Come on, you got the mine cart. Good enough for me, holy crap, the money. Another teleporter sounds good. Sure, put one there, finally. I might like Teleporter a little too much here. Hard to say. Oh, 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 or oh, oh. If only we could catch them all. It's too much. No, come back. Jerk. Okay, remember to skip potentially here. Yeah, I don't think I care about bricks anymore. I don't think so, because you have to hit them from below. Just skip it. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. More investing. I should probably consider getting... Well, if I get... I'm worried if I get rid of the brick and put something there that eats a coin, then this piggy bank will never go up again. More armored cars is worth taking. Uh, do I want to get rid of something? in order to do it. I think we it's time to get rid of that brick. You got a cactus. If not bonked, uh, consume the ball? Skip that. Oh, that counts, actually. Oh, that's interesting. Go, my armored cars. Come on. Hmm, spawning more money balls down here. If we can get, like, a jump rope, I think there's something else that pushes them upward. Then I'll take that, but that's the only thing I'd want that would trigger a move that I can think of. Oh, look at the money! Still going, baby! Wow, the eyeball lived forever. Okay, now they want 500,000. I feel like I gotta turn down the sound effects more here. <laughs> Wait! Did it not work? What happened? The hell was that? We have eight rolls. Okay. Another cash register. Okay. For, for okay, ten second cooldown. Spawn one coin ball for each distinct carryable. This ball is carrying. That could be crazy. Is this jump rope over here not that useful anymore? I sure hope so, because I just got rid of it. Then we can oh, they give us actually something here. Is potentially spawn more coin balls. So I could get rid of this wallet. Uh, I can't really. I uh, just skip it. Whenever a limited trigger consumes a charge, no. When a ball is chopped, no. All spawners invert the gravity of the balls they spawn. All spawners, no. I guess we'll take the chop thing, even though I don't think that's going to happen really. Okay. Woo! Look at it go, baby! Hmm. Stay alive, man. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> no more armored car. Everything has, like, a super long cooldown after that point. Whale. Hold this ball as the whale grows more full. It eventually ejects all held balls. When it does, earn $100 for each ejected ball, then cool down. It eventually ejects all the balls. Huh. 
I mean, I'll put it somewhere, I guess. Or I could just skip. Hmm. Tough one. Let's put it there. I don't know if it's really going to collect that many. Is my first thought. We got a couple there. I wish it doesn't really describe like when this will happen exactly, right? No, come back. 12.9, okay. Another piggy bonk. We shall take. This one's at 29. I guess we'll shall put it here. Even though this is like getting no nothing. I think you do still take it, do you? Could just skip. Oh, there you go. Got a couple. Stay in there, baby. Yes. That's not so bad. Stay alive. Buy some time. Get those cooldowns back up. Oh, not quite. <laughs> 11 rolls. Okay. Another brick is kind of whatever. I have a lot of rolls, so we can be kind of picky here. Another armored car. It does seem very good. Hmm. We do like them, huh? I'm looking around where to put it, though. I'm not sure there. I'm not sure there. So, the hope is that something would grab the armored card, get teleported back above, and then would start bouncing around up here and spawn coin balls there, right? That's my thought. Tis my hope. Eyeball is actually still alive somehow. Eyeball gone. Okay. Good enough. Seven rolls. I don't know about another investment bonk. How do we feel about it? Hmm. I wonder if it's like sort of exponential. And so if I put one here and we rip the brick. Is that the right way to handle things? $800 times 125, but you can increase that by multiplying it a ton. Oh, I have no removals. Oh. Did I just cheat? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Let's try this. Dude, what do you do? What do you what what's what was that? Just avoided everything forever. Alright, whatever. Okay, you earned two hundred and five million dollars. Satisfy the final tribute of five hundred thousand dollars. Don't forget to check out your stats here. Continue. Quit or restart. Oh, are we done? No endless? Oh, come on. We just got here. I don't actually want to restart here. Okay. Well, hey, that's Bali and Air. What do you think? You know, that's fun. That was fun. There's obviously different archetypes. Put to the title here. Oh, we got to see the Bali and Air dance again real quick. It's, in it's some interesting ideas here. It definitely uh, lends from a lot of other games, but it does it pretty well and does it pretty uniquely. And I think there's some really cool things going on in this one. Yeah, it's just a demo. If you want to check it out, I have a link in the description. I don't really know much else about what the game is going to have later on. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what we're asking for. And I'll see you in another video.